hello students welcome back to my channel i am teacher sarita today i am teaching you mathematics standard 7th chapter number 8 algebraical expressions and operation on them before doing the exercises first of all we should understand what is term coefficient and variable see what i written in terms we i written 11 mn in 11 mn normally 11 is a number mn is a alphabet but in algebraical expression 11 is a coefficient and mn is a variable now next one down minus 9 x square y cube in this minus 9 take the sign also the coefficient variable x y then next one 5 upon 6 p coefficient is number 5 upon 6 coefficient is a it is a number with the sign then variable is here p then term next is a in here a variable is only there so coefficient is 1 always b c d m if it is come like that term so 1 is the coefficient and variable is a now come to that we will understand this also what do you mean by monomials 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 expression that one term are called monomials only one term should be there for example 4x see that 4x okay only one term coefficient and variable 5 upon 6m one term that is fraction number and m minus 7 then one only coefficient so now the next one we will do binomials okay expressions with two terms are called binomials two terms should be there example 2x minus 3y two terms c 2x is one term and minus 3y that is 3y is the second term two terms are there 2l plus 2b one term is 2l another is 2b 2l plus 2b these two terms are there okay now third one 3mn one term 3mn one full term the other one is 5m square n one full term so 3m minus 5m square means that is binomial only two terms are whether plus or minus whatever it is there are two terms are there similarly for trinomial three terms expression that have three terms are called a b and c terms are there because co coefficient is also there okay coefficient and variable should be there then only the term is considered so a you think only variable no i told you if a is a one is a coefficient one then variable coefficient and variable come together it become terms a plus b plus c is one two three terms so that is trinomial x square minus 5x plus 6 full one term x square is a one term 5x is a one term and 6 is a one term 1 2 3 three trinomials similarly 8 a cube full one term 5 a square b full one term plus c full one term then that means 1 2 3 terms are there that is called trinomials now come to the pol polynomials polynomials means more than three terms okay expressions having more than three terms are called polynomial example a cube one term minus 3a square b other term plus 3ab square this is third term minus b cube this is other fourth term so this is a polynomial more than 3 next one 4x fourth power minus 7x square plus 9 minus 5x cube minus 16x 1 2 3 4 five terms are there that is called po polynomials then next one 5 x fifth power minus 1 by 2 x plus 8 x cube minus 5 1 2 3 4 terms are there that is called poly polynomials now we will do the exercise classify the following algebraical expressions as monomials binomials trinomials or polynomials first one is 7x see that 7x 7x is full one term coefficient and variable monomials 5x minus 7z one term and two term that is binomials now next one 1 minus 8a minus 7a square minus 7a cube 
term, two term, three term, four term, more than three term, polynomials, five m minus three, one term and two term, that is called binomials. Then come to this a, a means one coefficient is there, that is monomials, four only coefficient is there, that is called monomials. Another one, three y square minus seven y plus five, one term, two term and three term, that is called trinomials. Now, in other practice set 33, we will do addition of monomials, binomials, trinomials and polynomials together. See, this is the exercise. See, add we have to do 9p plus 16q. Next one, next number is 13p plus 2q. This is your binomial, binomial. Two terms are there. First, you write down first number like this. First, your binomial. Second binomial like this, arrange according to the like terms. Q, Q, it come like this, P, P come like this and according to the number you write in a unit tense place. Otherwise addition will be or my addition or multiplication minus subsidy will be difficult in that. So according to unit tense, you have to arrange the numbers and you have to do and the terms also are you have to arrange according to the variables. Okay, then. This is a vertical form. While doing the addition, two forms are there. Vertical method and horizontal. Like this, it is vertical. So, I, I am going to teach you both the methods. So, Q, Q write down here. 16 plus 2, 18. Okay. Plus 9 plus 13, 22P. I think the addition like that individually. Okay. So, binomial. Then we had binomial. The answer is also in a binomial. Now, in a horizontal form, that is a straight form. First, you put these two num these two binomials in a bracket like this, putting the plus sign because we have to do addition. Now, open the bracket and bring the like terms together. 9p plus 13p, 16q plus 2q. Now, plus c, 9 plus 13, 22p, 16 plus 2q, 18q. This way, you have to do. This is called horizontal method, straight method. Now, the next question. 2a plus 6b plus c trinomials 16a plus 13c plus 18b this is also trinomial arrange like this and bring the like terms from this 13c under it come 18b and your 16a according to this unit tense arrange properly then you plus 13 plus is 21 18 plus 6 24 and 16 plus 2 is 18a write according to 18a plus 24b plus 21c trinomial is the algebraical form now this is the vertical now arrange in horizontal put in the bracket trinomials two times put in the bracket after putting in the bracket put plus sign in between these two trinomials now open the bracket and bring the like terms together 2a 16a plus 6b plus 18b plus 8c plus 13c now plus it to all 2 plus 16, 18, 6 plus 18, 24, 8 plus 13, 21. There are A and B variable. Do not forget to write the variables. Okay. Do step by step. And very neatly you have to do. This is called horizontal method. Now second question also. 13x square minus 12y square. This is called binomial. 16x square minus 8y square. Binomial. First write the first binomial. Then under that write the second binomials according to the variables and see the unit and tense. Okay, like this. This is a vertical form. This see this sign minus minus. You are getting minus minus. According to sign also you have to take properly. Minus minus become plus. What you have to do? Plus. This you have to do plus. 12 plus 8. 20. You have to do plus. But sign come minus because both greater number you have to see. So, the greater number is 12. In front of 12 is minus. Write down minus. So, minus minus plus. We did plus. 20 we get. And we got. And this sign you have to write. And y square. Okay. Now, this x square. This is nothing is there. Plus plus. You can plus it. 13 plus 6. 19 x square. So, this is the answer. Okay. Now, second horizontally. Same way. Put in the bracket. And in between plus only. Because we are doing plus. Open the bracket. Then you write freshly. And collect the. Terms like term arranged properly 13x square plus 16x square 
minus 12y take the my sign according to that minus 12y square minus 8y square now do 13 plus 6 19 x square x square minus minus plus 20 12 plus 8 20 see the greater number this sign in front of is this that sign will come so 19 x square minus 20 y square is the answer this is a horizontal method now this your fourth question this is 17 a square b square plus 16 c 1 2 binomials 28 c minus 28 a square b square this is also binomial write the first number as it is you have to write openly so it will be very easy to for the calculation and it look neat and clean then according to array minus 28 take the sign minus 28 a square b square properly you have to write then plus 28 come it can under will come so when you do like this it is not possible to do like this so what you do either you can arrange according to that or you can do like this way also see the down it will be helpful for you if you arrange like this or you can do also in the same way if it is you want to do cc this is 44 16 plus 20 844 or like this or you do what do you do 28 minus 8 17 you take okay 28 minus 17 that is your 11 like this you have to do that is your 11 okay either you can do 11 and minus sign it will come or you can arrange in this way also this is the big one to arrange that first according to the sign then the then this will come under this so this you can do 28 plus 16 44 c plus then b square a square then 28 17 what you have to do minus plus you have to do minus and sign you know sign according to the bigger number you do minus you will get 11 and sign in front of the bigger number is minus okay minus 11 and this way also you can do you can directly minus then put the sign this is also correct okay this way also do or this way also do. it is not possible but you can do it you can do as your assumptions okay so this is not wrong but you have to put the this is not wrong but you have to put the sign okay after doing the minus greater sign is that so either range like this or either you can do like this but see the sign now next one twin this is the in the horizontal form you have to write first as it is you write the number the second method from that that number second this then plus then 17 then arrange according to that 28 c plus 16 c minus 28 a square b square plus 17 a square b square plus 44 c minus plus you have to do minus 28 minus 17 you will get 11 sign greater sign minus 11 a square b this is the answer you can arrange like this or you can do straightly but see the sign and do now be in the higher classes you can do it you can have to arrange properly while adding and subtracting you see the sign how you have to do then directly you can do or you have to arrange according to the sign that two ways i taught you now in coming questions i will do directly i will not take the second uh, second binomial and first binomial i will arrange according to the question and i will do the addition fifth one 3y square minus 10y plus 16 the other one 2y minus 7 so first as it is you write this is called trinomial openly you write see the distance i kept the second you write like this 7 minus 7 minus 7 then 2y plus 2y here y square 3y square y square this variable is not available this term is not there so for easy calculation you put 0 okay now do this 16 minus 7 9 sign you see this is a bigger plus okay 10 they could see i have not arranged like this 10 minus 2 you can do 10 minus 2 mean normal 10 minus 2 minus plus means minus minus plus means minus you have to do minus 10 minus 2 8 okay and sign c this is the biggest number sign minus minus 3y square plus 0 3y square 
so this is the answer in vertical okay now horizontal same way as it is open and bring that like term 3y square plus nothing is there 0 minus 10y as it is plus 2y plus 16 minus 17 with the sign you have to bring with the uh, variables 3y square plus 0 no value 3y square minus minus plus you have to do minus 10 minus 2 8 sign is this minus greater number you have to see plus 16 minus 7 that is 9 the 3y square minus 8y plus 9 is the answer so this is the horizontal method now the next question minus 3y square plus 10y minus 16 trinomials 7y square plus 8 this is binomial okay now we have doing trinomial binomial nothing is there arrange and keep the distance first you as it is with the sign and variable as it is now y square where is y square? here plus 7y square okay then y where it is y y is not term put 0 okay then number huh, 8 put here plus 8 now do the calculation in a vertical form minus plus c we have to do minus 16 minus 8 is 8 see the sign greater number sign in front of greater number is minus put the minus 10 y plus 0 10 y then here again minus plus minus 7 minus 3 7 minus 3 4 see the sign sign here is 7 bigger sign 7 and bigger sign here plus plus okay so according to that now I, in this i have not changed i have done according to that question only only minus and plus you have to see the what sign you have to do and what calculation you have to do this is a vertical see this this is the vertical sign according to the sign you have to add so this is the answer now the next one you have to arrange according to the horizontal form okay as it is you write with take the sign minus 3 y square here plus y square 10 y nothing is there put 0 plus then your minus 16 plus 8 minus 16 plus 8 this now see minus plus what you have to do minus 7 minus 3 okay you have to do like this 7 minus 3 4 you know 7 minus 3 sign bigger plus then 10 y plus 0 that is 10 y minus 16 plus 8 what you have to do minus 16 minus 8 8 sign here is bigger this so put minus sign. 16 is a bigger sign is minus this so this is a horizontal method 4y square plus 10y minus 8 is a horizontal method and this is the answer. I hope you understood these two exercises where I made you understand very clearly. So the next video I am coming with other exercises to keep practicing treat writing and see the sign in this sign and like terms are very important while doing addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. So subscribe my channel. Stay home and stay safe. Bye. Take care.